I'm in Bogota, Colombia with Operation Christmas Child. Nice to meet you. It's my first trip here. I knew Operation Christmas Child was an amazing outreach. I, I've known of Samaritan's Purse, but now I've seen this week in Bogota, I've experienced firsthand the impact that it makes into these communities that have been struck by poverty and these children who are in such great need and really at-risk children. We are here today to let you know that you are all very special. You're special to God. I love you more than the sun and the stars that I talk how to shine our mind and you shine for me too. These shoe boxes are they're all wrapped and each gift is unique. You want the big one? <laughs> and it just they're so excited about finding out what's inside. One. This is the least we can do at Christmas time. Um, gracias. And she's giving it back to me. How incredible is that? I mean, you talk about a fun project for your family to be involved in at Christmas time. It doesn't get any better than this. Well, the first shoe box that I had the chance to give out was to a little boy named Jonathan, 11-year-old boy, who was in a center called Breaking Chains. He's been in this center for two years, but at the age of seven, he began um, getting involved with drugs. At the age of seven, we've heard um, what type of home lives these children are coming from. And drugs and prostitution are commonplace. One of the biggest gifts that we can give is filling those shoe boxes with prayer. Pray that just the right box and just the right gift is gonna be put into just the right hands. I believe that God is involved in not just the big details of life, but in the little details. In each of these stops, we have the opportunity to pray with these children. Some of these children are even having the opportunity and making the decision to accept Christ. And so Operation Christmas Child has the heart um, not only to plant a seed, but help that seed grow. And so they've created a discipleship program. This discipleship program is, I believe, a 12 lesson program. It's sort of like a Sunday school class. And these children are having the chance, because of godly men and women who have a heart to team up with Operation Christmas Child, they can help take these children deeper and to teach them that their lives matter. Well, this is our final stop on our Operation Christmas Child distribution trip here in Bogota, Colombia. We are closer to heaven than uh, we were about an hour ago. But we drove straight uphill. We're at the top of a mountain. When we arrived here, we didn't know what to expect, but we found all of these beautiful children sitting on the rooftop of a building. And uh, these two girls are sisters, uh, Sophia and from Felisa, beautiful girls, and they just received their gifts. One of them is actually from uh, my family. My daughter filled this one herself, so it's all pink things, but the children are so appreciative of their gifts. They like the candy. There were some clothes in each box, some shirts, and a princess crown, and it's just been an amazing day. We've dropped off um, about a thousand gifts this week and it's barely scratched the surface of all the children that we could have reached. We've been able to you know, show a glimpse of God's love to these children, and uh, hopefully it'll make a positive impact, not just in their lives, but in their families' lives, because they're gonna be going home, and we don't know what uh, their home lives are like. So we're praying for these children, and encourage you to do the same. Long after they receive their gifts, um, they need to be in our prayers. So, God bless you from our last day here in Bogota, and God bless these beautiful little girls. Te gusta? Si. Si.